How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video here with the What I Eat Wednesdays episode number two. I do apologize for this being very late. This was supposed to come out last Wednesday, but because I couldn't get the footage off of my GoPro, I uh, have just now been able to fix that issue. So we're going to go ahead and move forward with the video that we shot last week. I do apologize and I want to keep this vlog up and running as well as document everything that I do to help with my weight loss journey. So let's go ahead and get on into it. Uh, this is one of my cheats that I do, which is uh, by cheating, I mean I get my recipe off of Pinterest. So I go to Pinterest, I have a board for the week. Uh, we're doing bruschetta chicken, super simplistic. I'll go ahead and link the recipe down below so that way you guys can have it. Um, just to get started, preheat that oven to 450. That's all you need. I'm going to be using a cast iron skillet, so I do have the skillet already inside the oven. Um, just to prepare the chicken breast, all you really need is olive oil. I'm using a lemon olive oil from my farmer's market. Um, salt and pepper. And Italian seasoning. That's it. Salt and pepper, olive oil, and Italian seasoning. Get both sides of that bad boy, get them good, and then we're gonna throw that into the cast iron skillet. We're gonna throw that into the oven. I do like the grill marks that come with the cast iron skillet, you know, with, with the grill on. Um, so now, while the, the chicken is cooking, um, put your timer on for 20 minutes, although it needs to just be in there for 20 minutes, so don't be like me, put it for 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead and start working on the topper. So all you need is a cherry tomato, not cherry tomato, all you need is a Roma tomato, I know this is an aroma tomato, but it's still going to work perfectly fine. Chop it up to where it's dices, just really, don't have to be super thin or fine. Just dices. Um, at the halfway point for the chicken, pull that bad boy out. All we're gonna do here is just flip them and we're gonna throw them right back in the oven. Now for me, I know that it's been in there for 10 minutes, so I want it to be another 10 minutes, but because I've opened the oven, I let all that heat out. I'm gonna put it in for 12. Uh, so cut up the tomato. We're gonna go ahead and throw this into a quick mixing bowl, right? Just something easy. And then the next ingredient is going to be an onion. Uh, the recipe does call for a red onion. I'm pretty sure this is a red onion. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, again, same size as the tomatoes. If you want to finely chop it, finely chop it. It's going to turn out great either way. Uh, just diced or finely chopped. Um, next, fresh basil. We don't use fresh basil enough to actually keep it stocked in the fridge, so we just do that. Add some garlic to it. That's what that is. Uh, a cup of Parmesan cheese will go into this one. I'm just, I eyeball everything. I don't like big clunks of Parmesan either. It's gross, very gross. Um, mix that up first. You can do it, all your ingredients in at once. I like to kind of mix them up first. Throw in more salt, more pepper, and more Italian. And then lastly, olive oil. Now if you want a really good snack or just something to throw on some salad, this. This right here. This is so good. It is so good. Impress all your friends with this, and it's so simple. Uh, chicken's done, so let's go ahead and pull that out of the oven. Uh, for me, for some reason, I like to make sure while it's sitting there, I'm going to flip it and make sure the grill marks are on both sides, even though I know that's not how that works. Um, and plating is also very simple. You can either butterfly it and cut it open, or just put a chicken breast down and put the bruschetta topping on the top. And then lastly, to top this off, balsamic glaze. Balsamic vinegar? No, just balsamic glaze. That's it. Um, and then of course, vegetable. We went with a uh, can of green beans because we just need to get rid of the can of green beans since we don't really eat cans anymore. Uh, or canned vegetables. But that's it, guys. Bruschetta chicken to impress all of your friends. And it's super easy. It's very easy. It's very keto friendly as well. That's the most important thing. Um, especially after like, a really long day of work and working out and just doing a lot of stuff. If you want something that's going to really fill you up, this right here. Perfect. And truthfully, if you have any ever, if you have any leftovers like we typically do, it 
it's amazing to do it for lunch as well. Um, I prefer it cold, but if you want to just separately heat up the chicken and then throw the toppings back on, it works just as well. Uh, but yeah, so chicken bruschetta off of Pinterest. Um, it's what I eat Wednesdays, and I, I can't wait to film the next one, show you guys more recipes from here on. I love you guys. Until next time, just remember, no more excuses. Take care.